Alright, so we're back, and uh, today's video is just going to be a very short video. Somebody asked me to do this a little bit ago, so I'm doing it now because of reasons that I'll get into later. We're just going to be showing you how to pad a Batman cowl. This is the Injustice 2 cowl that I got from Fanatic Effects. It is a flawed copy. Cat, stop. It is a flawed copy, and it is too big for my head, and I will show you what I mean. Uh, it's too big. It's just super loose. So what we're going to do is we're going to pad the sides, we're going to pad the back. That should push my face in. Maybe help the sides a little bit. And I'm going to be showing you how to do that. Uh, as for the reason why this video is a day late, I like to do cosplay updates and stuff like that on Wednesdays. I was hoping my Red Hood, the next piece I need for my Red Hood cosplay would be here today, of this being recorded on Wednesday. Uh, it didn't show up. So I was scrambling for something to do, this is what came to my mind, and that's that. This is the helmet. It's completely done, I've added in the lenses, there's sunglasses lens, there's sunglass lenses. Uh, it is padded on the inside, so it's not a big old bobblehead, and it fits perfectly. So yeah. And if you're wondering about this thing in the background here, this amazing Spider-Man suit, haha, <laughs> uh, it's just something I've been working on over the past week. I've been puffy painting it, trying to get it all nice and more texturized and movie realistic. I'm going to sell my Instagram in the next two weeks when it's done being puffy painted and I add new lenses. So if you want to, if you're interested in it, uh, go follow me on Instagram at Adam L. Cosplay. Uh, same as the YouTube channel name. And you'll be able to see when that goes up for sale. Have a chance to get it yourself. So go do that. Without any further ado, though, let's just get into this. Uh, all we're going to do in order to do this is you take some third inch thick, I believe, pad, padding. It's literally just like cushion padding that goes in like seats and stuff, chairs. People use it to make muscle suits as well. I can't remember the exact word for it right now, but it's just foam padding. Take some spray adhesive. Uh, this is a Scotch Super 77 multi-purpose adhesive. Uh, I didn't pick it specifically for this reason. Any spray adhesive should work. I just literally did it for this. You cut it into the shapes you need. So I have this piece right here. This is going in the back, inside the cowl in the back right there. Uh, and then I have these pieces which I'm going to cut in half and put on the sides. This is one third inch. This is what's normally will work for most stuff. This cowl is pretty big, honestly, so uh, I might need to stack it together and make it a little thicker, at least a little bit. but. Not too much. So basically all we gotta do is just take your spray, get it on your fingers, because it's gonna get on your fingers, I guess. Just spray it. Spray it a good bit, because it's your thing. You want it to stick. And you take it, you put it inside, and you just press it down. You squish it up against the urethane right where you want it. Making sure you really just push, push, push. And bam. It's not gonna set completely right away. Let it sit for probably like an hour or two before you go try to put it on. Otherwise the glue's not gonna take and it will just, you know, slide right off as you're doing it. Just do the other side. Try to line it up as much as you can. 
you know, so that you're not getting squished in different places. Don't be dumb. Uh, wear a gas mask of some kind, or do this in a more open area, unlike me, uh, because the spray's not that bad normally, but if you use a lot of it, like I'm having to do on this, uh, it's, it's pretty, it gets bad. If you need to make it thicker, if you think it's not going to be thick enough, simply just, you know, get more and sandwich them together, let, let them adhere together, and then spray it and put it into the cowl. It's not a, it's not complicated. And then there you go. I'm gonna let it sit on this cowl stand, which is BBS cowl stand, and it is available on my Etsy shop. I'll put the link down below in case you are interested in it. That's pretty much it. Again, if you wanna know when this suit goes on sale in the next two weeks, Feel free to go follow me on Instagram at AdamLCosplay, a link will be down below in the description. And next week I promise you all will have an update on this, on the Red Hood cosplay. Along with another suit review coming out next Monday. What is it gonna be? I don't know yet. How many suits do I have that I can do? A good bit. A good bit. So, yeah, be on the lookout for that. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you later. Hey everyone, if you liked that video, please remember to subscribe and click that notification bell down below so you can keep up to date with all my content. And if you want to see what I do outside of YouTube, you can follow me on Instagram at AdamLCosplay. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.